Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Scorpios. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Scorpios. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Scorpios, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to dive into your love reading today. We're first going to start with some oracle messages to tap in with your career and your finances here to see what needs to be aware of or what needs to be a given opportunity for you what you need to be looking forward to when it comes to your career and finances all right and definitely stick around we're going to dive into some tarot here we're going to see about the person here scorpio that is on your mind and how they feel towards you and then of course we're going to close out with my raw tarot index cards here to get more insight on what actions does this person plan on taken towards you Scorpio here in the future all right so shout out to the beautiful soul tribe I appreciate each and every one of you all as always thank you so much truly for your continuous love and support you could be anywhere else on this planet but you choose to be here with me to allow me to help assist you all a part of your spiritual journey here just as much as myself so I thank you for being a part of my spiritual journey here with me as well. And thank you for the ones that are new here. Welcome, welcome. Definitely don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up and subscribe when you all come in, Scorpios. It is a pleasure to have you here. And definitely if you are a love live stream fanatic like me, okay? I love going live. I enjoy getting to connect with each and every one of you all. Definitely be sure to adjust your notification bell, Scorpios, for when I go live on this platform. I do go live throughout the week almost every day, all right? So if you would love to check in and get your day started with a reading there as well, I would love to meet you all and evolve right along here with you, all right? So no further ado, Scorpios, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what your message is here is for you today. Oh, wow, we have loan denied, okay? So that's very significant there. If some of you all was wanting to apply for a loan, some of y'all may had applied for a loan, and that loan may was denied. There could have been something you may was trying to save up for. Some of y'all may want to establish your own business or put out a loan. This could be for mortgage. This could be your finances. This could be in regarding a personal loan for some of y'all as well. Uh, there could be a reason of that. Um, I am not a counselor or an accountant advisor here, okay? This could also be someone around you that may got denied a loan offer as well, all right? So that could be also significant here, but we have loan denied, okay? So some of you all may have put out an application for a loan, particularly, and that loan may have got denied. Now, any times when situations like that for me happens, it informs me that it wasn't the right time or it wasn't the perfect timing for you to be approved of that loan. So sometimes take that in consideration for your protection or sometimes take that in consideration as in this is not the right opportunity or it may have some things regarding that loan that you may not have been aware of that consist of that loan. So just definitely take in consideration the reasons and the circumstances that sometimes we just don't see right ahead of us or in front of us, okay? So anytime when I'm told no because of, because of a situation or a circumstance, Scorpio, I always tell myself that it was a reason for that, which most likely it was. And I end up finding that out later after the fact, okay? So know that sometimes when we are told no, that is also could be for your protection, but that is also for you to could be dodging a bullet. You could be able to, because someone told you no, you looked into another situation somewhere else, and then they end up being a blessing to you, okay? So if some of y'all may have experienced a situation where there was a loan that denied you, take that in consideration that the timing wasn't right, 
or that that loan particularly was not meant for you, that there be one that is better for you in the future, okay? Yeah, let's see what else about your career because both of these cards jumped out at the same time, so I took both. Now, we got follow up, okay? So some of y'all may need to follow up when it comes to maybe counseling or therapy or something that you may receive on a weekly basis where you may need to follow up if you go out and speak to a counselor once a week or needing to follow up maybe with your boss on a situation or following up with your family or maybe following up with a friend or following up with your uh, your career or even your significant other here. That's going to be different for everyone, but we do have the energies of needing to follow up and due to a loan denied here, okay? So definitely take both of these cards in consideration, Scorpios, as they could be a heads up for you and for you to be aware of, okay? Wow, so no further ado, let's dive into tarot here. Let's see about this person that's on your mind, Scorpio, and let's see how they feel. Wow, we got the Page of Swords here, Scorpio. So this person is watching you. They're lurking you, okay? They're definitely keeping their eyes on you. This person could be younger than you, Scorpios, okay? They could be a Aquarius here, a Gemini, or a Libra here. But this is someone that is, for some of you all, new, and they could be trying to scope you out, trying to get ideals about you to kind of see who you are, how you carry yourself. That type of energy is what I'm picking up here as well, Scorpios. Some of y'all, this person is just... They're watching you. I feel like they may be excited to see you and they may could be observing you before they come close, okay? This person definitely is excited and is aware for some of you all that you're headed that way, okay? Wow, Scorpios, let's see what else. Oh my goodness, Aries energy. Yeah, this person is ready to take a leap of faith, okay? They're definitely not kidding around here. With that number zero there, Scorpio, that could indicate for me, for some of you all, that this is someone from your past and they're wanting to start all the way over here with you with that zero. Others of you all, this is literally someone new, okay, that's coming in here. And whomever this person coming in here, they're definitely setting the intentions to do so here, okay? Let's see what the future holds between you two here. Wow, we got the Knight of Swords here, Air Elements here, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy here, okay? This is someone that's going to be very unexpectedly, that's going to come towards you. The King of Swords or the Knight of Swords for me, excuse me, is always an energy for me that's going to be popping up on you. And you're not going to be aware of this here. I feel like this person, of course, they may have some exciting news. I feel like for some of y'all that they may want to share with you. And this may involve them because of them watching you or, you know, wanting to reach out to you. Because, again, there could have been a situation where they got denied a loan here as well. Is why they've been wanting to come in and tell you about some type of great new opportunity and ideal that they do have here. Okay. Wow. Okay. I like it. So, let's use my Raw Tarot Index cards here. It's kind of giving me the energy of I want to clarify. Let me clarify this Knight of Swords energy again because this is someone that is eager to come towards you to share some news here. So let's see exactly what this is regarding the person that's on your mind. Again, this could be an air sign or a, for, a fire sign, excuse me, is what we have out here. We got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy here, Scorpios, okay? Let's clarify that Knight of Swords energy here. Wow. Definitely, if the reading here so far, Scorpios, is resonating for you, hit that like button, Scorpios. That'd be very much appreciated, okay? Clarify this Knight of Swords energy here. Yeah, I knew it. We got the Three of Cups here. This person wants to reconcile with you, all right? They want to collaborate with you, all right? They do miss the friendship and the opportunities that you had with this person here. They definitely thought about you a lot here. So someone is definitely coming back towards you and they want to collaborate with you here, Scorpio. Others of you are this person could be a water sign like yourself with the Three of Cups. They could be a Pisces. They could be a Cancer here. Or Scorpio like yourself, or again, a fire sign here, or a air sign here. But this person is definitely determined 
to want to move forward in this connection with you. All right. So I know things may not be in the best space as far as financially wise, but when it comes to your career here, this person is definitely looking forward. And I feel like this is going to be something great for them because they now can move around in a new environment to kind of get their head and thoughts clear about you, Scorpio, and about this situation or circumstance here. So some of y'all are definitely going to be hearing from this person pretty soon. All right. Oh, my apologies there. You will be hearing from this person really soon because the page of source talks about messages. So there's definitely going to be arrangements here. I feel like that's going to be made here because this is someone, again, that's ready to take a leap of faith and reach out to you here with the three of cups there. Okay. Wow, Scorpio. So let's close out and use again my raw tarot index cards. Let's see what actions does this person want to take here. Show me this person's actions and what do they want to... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, it kind of makes sense, okay? They're not waiting around, Scorpios. We got you rock my world, Scorpios. So this person may remember all the times that you used to rock their world, honey, okay? And they're ready for that. Is it going to be a part two, Scorpios, okay? And then we have I'm pulling up on you. Yeah, that's the energy with that Knight of Swords energy. As I mentioned, that's my pop-up card here. So some of you all, this person may know where you you stay they may remember where you stay they might be calling you about the blue and you're not expecting this they could be facetiming you or sending you text messages here but someone definitely is wanting to give you heads up that they are wanting to speak with you maybe sit down and have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you but they're definitely ready okay they're ready for in the bedroom and they're ready to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you oh my gosh let's see what else here Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Wow. We got, I'm not holding back anymore. So maybe this person was someone that they maybe held back their emotions or their feelings towards you. You may didn't know how this person actually felt towards you, but you definitely will hear pretty soon. Okay. We got, yes, I stalk you. Okay. So some of y'all, this person definitely may stalk your social media. Uh, they might stalk if you have some type of outlet where people or followers are able to watch you. This person is definitely watching you. Okay. Wow, Scorpios. Oh my goodness. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. But however, if you would love to book a personal reading, again, my email details is down below in the description box. And thank you so much to the Soul Tribe for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you. And if you would love to book a personal reading with me, Scorpios, again, my email details is down below in the description box. And if you certainly enjoy the content here, if you would love to receive your readings with early access, and if you would love free questions when I go live, then definitely come on over to Patreon. I do provide Patreon free questions bi-weekly. They also get daily content on ways to evolve and they get early access to all my readings, including the readings that I do for the OnlyFan page as well. So again, definitely if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. Show Spirit got some love and I definitely look forward to you all's next love messages. I love you, Scorpios.